<laughs> All right, welcome to part three on Dennis the Sled. can see we got some extra puppies here today we got Lonnie's dogs here again and they're playing nice with Farley and uh, they say turnabout's fair play Lonnie has decided generously to clean Dennis's motor since Dennis cleaned Lonnie's so well uh, here we go let's get her done thank you Lonnie Pretty good shape. We man. pronounce this motor clean. I don't know. I do. Dennis is yeah. Dennis's call. We got to turn All it right. Right. Yeah, flip it. So there you go. That bearing is complete junk. Well, what we're looking at here is potentially a part sled. Uh, it's got a bad cylinder in it, but if the crank's good. Smile. Dennis will smile. We'll save some money. We'll know when we know. Oh, yeah. She's moving. Ah, you got to put her in four wheel drive. Back her up. Track's turning. I'm bringing you home, daughter. Uh, yeah, I'll ride with you. All right, keep going, Lonnie. I don't really have steering. Have a fun ride. You have no choice. You're going to follow. Well, there it is. Lonnie and Dennis towed it down here, and I don't know. That's it for tonight. Tomorrow we'll uh, tear into it and see if the crank's any good in this thing. This may not be a dead sled yet. We don't know. But uh, at least if the crank's good, it's going to go in Dennis's. Hey, folks. It's Sunday morning, and I've got some soul searching to do. You saw the sled getting brought over last night. It's been sitting outside in Brad's yard for a couple years, and I don't even know where it was before that. Um, I don't know if I have the heart to part this thing out. Uh, let's take a better look at it and I'll try to explain a little better about what's going on. And Farley will help, of course. Won't you, sweetie? All right, so this is your basic monoblock 600 XCR. Um, superficially, it doesn't look too bad. Um, got a little bit of breakage in the hood. Nothing too extreme. Well, it's more over here, but not too horrible. Uh, it's got Fox shocks. It's got the fancy racing sway bar on it. Um, the skid is an 8-inch, which I believe is what an XCR had back in those days. The seat needs a cover. It's got this uh, tank. I think people call it the Buffalo tank. Um, how many miles do we got? Only 3,600 miles. Wow. Under the hood. Oh, let me sit down the camera for a second because this is off the hinges. Under the hood, we got your basic monoblock XLT motor, basic clutches. She's got the bigger carbs, 36s or 38s. Oh, 
Look at that. Farley's been here already. There's a tennis ball in there. Liquid cool brakes. Pretty normal stuff under the hood. Nothing I wasn't expecting. Um, I've jumped on it, and the rear skid is definitely moving. It's not locked up. Haven't jumped on the front yet, but she feels pretty stiff. Mm, moves. The front does move. I'm pretty torn on if we should park this or not. Um, this is Brad's sled. It's not my sled. And Brad kind of said he'd donate it to the group when he saw the situation with Dennis's crankshaft. We checked the motor a couple years ago. It's got a low hole in it. I think one of the holes is 90 and the other two are 110 or something like that. We don't know for sure that this crank is good. It sounds fine when you pull it over. Well, then again, I haven't pulled it over for two years. So maybe I better do that quick. Yeah, doesn't feel too bad. So Dennis wants motor parts. Lonnie wants the track because the track on his XLT is not that tall or that good. This one's looks like a 7 8 or 1 inch. Definitely better than whatever Lonnie's got going on. Brad wants the skid for his sport. I don't know. This is definitely a salvageable sled. It's not entirely my decision. But I think we got to have a discussion with the guys before we uh, rip this down. Maybe we got to get Dennis's crank fixed. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's where my head's at on this thing. It's just, I hate to take the sled apart. And, you know, nothing's irreversible. I mean, let's face it. We could take it apart now and I could start rounding up parts and put it back together at some point in the future, maybe next fall, you know? I mean, it's not necessarily a dead sled if we start robbing parts from it, as long as I can find new parts to put back on. So that's a consideration too. So when the guys show up today, we're, we're gonna have a, have a early morning, no beers yet discussion about this thing and uh, just come to our conclusion. And if you don't agree with it, I hope you can at least forgive us and just remember that just because we take parts now doesn't mean it's necessarily dead forever if we decide to do that. All right, it's a couple hours later. I've been mulling this over while I wait for the boys to show up today. And I did some more checking on the sled. Middle hole is at about 60 PSI. So this motor's coming out no matter what. If it's got a good crank and it gets Dennis up and running for the season, that's awesome. Gives me all summer to look for parts. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean this sled's dead or parted out. Mm -hmm. Just borrowing parts, mm -hmm. not necessarily mm -hmm. parting it out. So mm -hmm. that's what we're going to do. Hopefully this crank is good. We'll know when we know. Yeah, it's happening. We're doing it. Motor's on its way out. With the big carbs. Sorry, world. We're not going to junk the sled, though. We're just borrowing parts. We're not parting the sled. We'll, we'll make it run someday. We got the XCR motor out already. And uh, we'll know in a few minutes if that crank's good or bad. Uh, don't see any external issues on the crank seal, so that's a good sign. It's pretty clean, actually, all things considered. So uh, we'll find out. It's really clean. Here, I see the problem. Let me get a light. Look at that. You see, see why compression was low in that hole? She's a little scuffed and the top ring is stuck. Compared to the others, you can see the ring is out in that okay. hole. And in this hole, the uh, no, it's just perfect spot. This hole, you can see the rings are stuck. So uh, there you go. And there's no carbon in there. I think somebody rebuilt this motor, didn't fix the air leak problem or the lean problem or whatever problem it has. And immediately, immediately squeaked another piston. That's what it looks like to me. So it's motor rebuildable. Probably. Yeah. Oh, this motor's totally rebuildable. But we feel no guilt about using it for parts for the immediate future. All right. Well, this is good news. It's clean. It's really clean. It's oily. That's a green oil, not antifreeze. Whoever had it apart last used this anaerobic sealer instead of three bond. But that's fine. I've used that in the past and. It works decent. So, uh, 
We're going to take the seals off and start spinning it and hope for a good crank. She's a goner. She's no good. Damn it. Yeah, SOL. Bad crank. Needs new bearings. No more usable than the one Dennis has. I mean, there's no chunks out of it. Yeah, the seals look good. But she's a goner. Like they probably rebuilt it, just put new seals on. Yeah, they just resealed it. They yeah. didn't rebuild the crank. I mean, that ain't good. And even, even as we get down the line, that's still pretty noisy. That one's um, that one's mega noisy. And then as we get to yeah. the mag side, they get better, just like always. So, all right. Well, no winner here. And us putting the XCR motor back together. He's not happy with it, neither am I, but we're putting it together because that's the best way to not lose any parts. We think like somebody could potentially rebuild this motor in the future, although it's not going to be cheap. Somebody could rebuild it, so we'll keep her together. All right, we got a very sad ending to episode three. We're not even celebrating with beers, as you can see. It's pretty sad, so... You saw the crank bearings on the XCR motor. You saw the destruction on Dennis's motor. We even have a third monoblock over here, right here. But that one's all taken apart and rusty. It's sat taken apart for years. So, I got some shopping to do. Yeah, we're calling that the end of episode three. And uh, hopefully Dennis can find a rebuilt crank on an exchange basis because being mid-season, I'm not real hopeful that people are be able to move stuff through their shop real fast. So in the morning, we'll start calling around and see what we can find. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I guarantee you the next episode will have a happier <laughs> ending than this one.